Sunday Sports Show. I'm out at Thomas Farms Race Course here at Murray Bridge with uh, manager John Bajar. This is fantastic. Wow, congratulations. What a, what a spectacular race, race club. Isn't it? it it's, it's wonderful to have been able to be involved with building something new. And, and some, building race courses is not something that, uh, you know, you get to do every day. Uh, we're very fortunate, you know. We're, we're a club that's a not-for-profit organisation with, you know, with probably 300 members, you know, in our, in our kit sort of thing. And but, John, you didn't uh, raise enough to get a couple of tin sheds. You know. This is magnificent. Oh, it's just, it's blown me away. It really has blown me away. This is like an, an oasis of a sporting complex. Oh, look, yeah. And, you know, in, initially at the start, we, we, we had some good people within our board and they had a vision that we need to make our business healthy. Mm. And there's two ways you can make your business healthy because um, with, with horse, horse racing or thoroughbred training, we need a lot of horses. We need a lot of horses to be training and using okay, the tracks yeah. because we've got to employ people. So we've got to make the fees work. So to, you've got to make your nucleus healthy yep. and that then is where we start off after that. Then we came to the scenario that we... We needed to grow um, our, our previous race course, you know, which is a grass track, which is growing in a paddock. And that's what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it was growing in a paddock, and 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 by by being like that, it was it would needed a lot of work, and it was it was funds that we couldn't raise mm. ourselves. So um, our our club committee decided, well, we've got to take our destiny into our own hands. And they took their destiny into their own hands, and well why don't we try mm. to go to a greenfield site? So it's not quite as simple as that, mm. but what, what they were able to do was to select a parcel of land to have a look at what the government, have a look at what the government plans were at the time. And there was, uh, within their regional maps that they had, there was growth for Murray Bridge. You know, there's, there's an opportunity to grow. This is great for the community. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. So rezoning then means that the club can chase up uh, private investment. And it's not a matter of going and asking the government to do things mm. for you. It was a case of chase, chasing private investment. Once you have that private investment on board, it, it, it makes the government look and go, well, wait on, you know, they've, they've got some people on board, so, you know, we've got some assistance from the government. That, like I said, it's not quite as simple as that. Yeah. There's a lot of other work that went into it. But we're really proud because yeah. we built a course. We built a course that, you know, races so truly and so fairly. Um, but then also what it has done is that we've increased our population here, our yeah. population horse. Um, we got about, what, 100 stables, I reckon it was, when I was, I was trying to count when I was coming through, and was training hard. facility must be sensation as well. Yeah. Yeah. 164 wow. uh, stables just been built. And you sort of got a, a simple, simple rule of thumb, for every four horses, yeah. it creates a full-time job. See, fantastic. And that's yeah. a simple rule of thumb, so, oh, lo and behold, we've created extra jobs there. Um, we're, we're now at the stage that some, some mornings on a, um, say, Tuesday morning, which we tend to have most of our horses here, um, we can end up with probably 230 horses working here on a, on a track morning. And the facilities are great. Yeah. You know, you, you, it's, um, you've got to proof yourself. Um, and what I mean by that is that um, we've got a synthetic track. So the, the, the synthetic track, yes, it requires maintenance, it requires yeah. you know, work on it, but then we're not reliant on it. It's a constant surface. Mm. So, you know, the horses can do so it's much. Consistency, yep, yeah. So, so much different work. You know, we're talking about animals that are, you know, very, very heavy animals that run on four little pin legs. Yeah. I shouldn't say it like that, but, you know, you've got to look after those legs. Immensely. I love them when they come first, and I'm on them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> I love it. You've just got to remember for that one that came first, there's some, <laughs> some others that are behind them. But that's, that's life. Um, um, but then we did, you know, things that were a point of difference. You know, um, I'm looking across the way here and, you know, we've got this great uphill sand track, which, mm. which actually gives a different point of leverage to the horse in working. It works different parts of their body. It, it, it's, you use it as a conditioner. You can use it as a strengthener. You can also use it for horses that have issues with their front legs. Um, in many different ways, and it's really getting some mm. good use. So, once again, we just thought a little bit differently. Um, we're now training the most horses in South Australia out of our out of our centre here. So that's the pretty. Most that's pretty good. in South Australia is here in Murray Bridge. 
Wow. Ma yep, highest, highest percentage of horses trained here. So we're the largest training centre in South Australia. Because we've lost a lot of tracks over the years, haven't we? You know, we lost Cheltenham and Victoria Park. and um, So, you know, to be able to now, obviously you'd get a lot more meetings here, here at, here at Murray Bridge because of the facility now and, and what, we're 40 minutes from the, 40 minutes from the city. And, and it's important to us mm. because um, we're, we've now gone from a, a club that was running Oh, when I first arrived, we were running 12 Wednesday meetings yep. with an odd Sunday meeting. You know, now we're running 23 race meetings a year, eight of them are Saturdays. You know, we've got some public holidays. You know, we love racing, you know, while we love our, you know, we just had our cup day, which was run on a Saturday. Um, but we have Magic Millions. We've attracted Magic Millions. The Magic Millions stay here. And we love that association with them because Magic Millions... Uh, you know, uh, at, the, at the heart of where another part of the industry is, you know, the breeding industry. And um, to have them on board with us is, is great for us, you know, nurturing and bringing, bringing horses into play. But it's not even that, you know, not just that, you know, New Year's Day. We race on New Year's Day. Wow. And yeah. I, can, I can walk around most race meetings here and I go, oh, I can bump into a lot of people that yeah. I know. It come New Year's New Year's Day, all of a sudden, I don't know so many people because we've got all these tourists <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, come for some. It's wonderful. Yeah, I bet. You know, and it, it is fantastic. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, as well, I mean, uh, with something brand new as this, I mean, your function facility is outstanding. And, yeah. I, and I know we'll have some shots as, as, we're, as we're chatting, but uh, it must hold, you know, what, what four or five hundred. Um, it's, it's spectacular as well. So, uh, just, just for, for instance, last Cup Day, you know, we did. We did a dinner, or we did did lunch races, uh, four course, 490 people, and wow. just just go seamlessly. Yeah. And it's not only that; it's the quality. We're, we're really big on making sure the quality of the food is is very yeah. good. Um, it's just not just not the regular thing that you get. Um, but it's it's also important to the club, um, and the reason being is that you know we're sitting in here today. And it's just a, a large empty room. But what we try to do is we try to get ourselves as busy as we can during the week. Yeah. So bring in business outside of, bring in business outside of just racing. But spot on, yeah. perfect. And and once again, it brings more people to the prep town, brings yeah. the community. So we've we've been able to conduct trade shows, which have been fantastic. Um, breakout type, uh, breakout type events where they'll use one room, they use another room. So the room. The room can seat 600 people. Wow. Okay, so it can seat 600, but it also can break up into different size rooms. Yep. It can break up into uh, uh, three three different size rooms. You can hold multiple things. It has um, capability within it. So um, the, yep. the, the sound system's fantastic. Yeah. You know, great acoustics within the building. Um, as we saw, you've got a whole heap of TV sets See, I'm, everywhere. I'm looking right at the moment. I reckon I've got about... I reckon I'll see 40 TVs. I yeah, mean, there's, big, there's 52. All oh, right. Oh, that, oh, we've done pretty oh, good. Pretty yeah, but, yeah. Hey, now, tell me uh, some of the, the big name horses that have, have raced so far here at the, at the bridge. Oh, look, it probably comes down to where your program is. Yeah. So um, I, I would I would like to think that probably even our, our last cup day probably saw one of the most consistent even, even um, fields that we had. Um, but look, we, we've had, um, you know, probably one of the more let's just say uh, associated name in South Australian racing, you know, uh, Behemoth come here and do his exhibition gallops. Okay. Like, you know, just, yeah. just a fantastic horse. And, um, and even I uh, know that horse. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, David Jolly would bring the horse here. David Jolly would bring the horse here because he said we, when he constantly works at home, he's just, he gets lazy and yeah. he just like, Yep, he's in his own mode, where so you need to just switch him out and take him to another track. Mm. Um, of, of horses that have won, look, I'd, I'd probably just like to say that uh, we had a horse come over from Victoria, uh, Scorched Earth, who won our first, okay, yes. won our first Magic Millions here, um, but then then went on back to Victoria and, and won multiple listed mm. listed races, won a group race as well. So, so you know. It, it's great that they've got confidence mm. to bring their horses That's right. here. And more will just happen as well, of yep. course. More will just happen. Yep. I just, before I, uh, I know you're very, very busy, and I really yeah. do appreciate your time. Just how brilliant the architect of this building is, how it just sits in the landscape so beautifully. Yeah. You know, it's just taken nothing away from the beautiful country side of Murray Bridge. Oh, look, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're spot on. Um, the even... facade is outstanding, yeah. you know, wow. Yeah, and... I suppose when when you put all these things together, it's it's got to be appealing. Mm. Um, we've got to think we, even even from within this building, 
Um, it's even simple little things. Yeah. The, the carpeting, okay? Now, even the carpeting's been done in a way that if you've got spills or anything that happens on it, it's not the sort of carpet it's you're going forgiven. to notice. It yeah, it's, it's a very, it's very yeah, 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 no, nice. Even little things like that. But the facade, the front foyer, you know, yeah. lends itself to so many type of cocktail type venue, uh, uh, functions if you want to have cocktail bowl, functions. It? Yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. You know, the front area of the building, it is it is bold, it is oh. nice, it's great. But even the little even the little things we talk about is that, you know, there's sections of this that we've got stairwells that lead down to outside so that if you're eating inside and someone walks past the window, they don't block your view. Yeah. You know, they're, I know easy. they're little, yeah. but they're, really, the boxes, they're really, yeah. really important. Yeah. The balcony here sits over the mounting yard, so as horses parade in the mounting yard, people can look over it. Everything's on show. Easy, make yeah. it nice, nice and easy. And look, one of the important things you've got to do, well, that I find with race meetings and the race card, is that you can't always get caught into doing the same thing all the time. Mm. You've got to go, well, this is successful. And then you turn around and go, well, how do I tweak it? Yeah. How do I make it different? Because when someone comes again, you want them to say, you want them to say that was a bit better. Yeah. That, that was, oh, that was different having yeah. this or doing, doing something just a little bit yeah. different through. So we're constantly trying to tweak the model. Don't just, yep. re, don't, don't just rely on your morals. Keep tweaking, yeah. keep tweaking. Well, John, you and your team and your, and your committee, just congratulations. It's yeah. absolutely outstanding. And, Beautiful. You know, Murray Bridge proud, but certainly South Australian proud as well. And what a great sporting complex for, for, for many years to, I'd like uh, to, think to, so. to enjoy. And hopefully I can come in and pick a couple of winners as well. Then I'll like it even more. I will. <laughs> Thank you so much. Steer you in. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll be back after the break.